hello everyone it's me a summer welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today i'll show you this type of minimal logo this logo is for the dj music logo dnj is representing the dj music logo so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications from here going to the file and taking new artboard which is 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel and here dj music logo you can give the name over there and hit the create button we'll get an artboard which is uh, the blank artboard and now going to the line segment tool from here or you can press the slash button from your keyboard okay after that press the shift and hold it and drawing line like this this one is the stroke mode that's good and press the alter option button to copy this one and copy like that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so 12 is the number which is uh, uh, divided by 3 that's why we are taking this one we can gap the 3 uh, like steps that's why we are taking that making it group and right press and going to the transform and rotate options from here giving the degree which is 90 degree and preview if you get the preview like that and copy that and making them into middle of the artboard so select the align to the artboard over here and making like that now we'll take the circle from here which is the ellipse tool press the shift and alter button and drawing line actually the circle which is match with the line that's fine and ctrl c and ctrl f and making bigger circle ctrl c and ctrl f making another bigger circle according to the square ctrl c ctrl f so like this ctrl c and ctrl f the bigger one that's fine now we'll make the logo like that select all the stuffs shift m for the shape builders tool otherwise you can take from here shape builders tool and after that making the color which is the fill color and now can draw that so we'll make the circle like this simply the circle when you're making that circle so make it zoom when you are selecting the portion the corners which is really important to make that things more polished so d and j our logo is ready and after that uh, we can delete all the stuffs at a time that means the lines we don't need that lines here the selection tool which is the magic one to select once in a line and delete all the stuff that's fine we are getting the clean logo over here press a which is the direct selection tool and you are getting the buttons uh, which is really cool select them by pressing shift and hold it and select all the stuffs like this that's fine and this portion this portion like that so that is the cool symbol which is really good i do love that thing press a if you want to make it more bigger like that so i think that is good the shape is representing properly d and j that's good and now i have some gradient uh, i'll apply those gradient over there before that we have to make this one middle alignment of the artboard and going to the text tool taking some text over here the text font is nexa uh, right press and search over here the nexa okay nexa that's fine and making it like this going to the character making it all caps and making it middle of the artboard uh, alignment like that so giving the name the dj music music so like that and like that or you can choose the round font just because of all uh, we got the round type so find out the font like this or you can make them to all caps not all caps the or dj music apps okay you can choose that things if you want to make it middle of that so you can find out more polished font which is uh, really nice and uh, which is really cool to adjust that okay i think that's fine yeah 
I think that's good and you can make this one all caps if you want but I think this one is more nice making it like that and after that uh, going to the gradient options here are some gradient I downloaded from freepick.com and provide you that gradient download link in my video description let's try those gradient if you want okay picking color from here select this one i from the color picker and select this this i think this one is good and this one is uh, good okay g from the keyboard and adjusting the color like this okay apps will make this one thinner but uh, here is no thinner font that's why we have to change all the things like uh, Evnir, so Evnir we have some font which is really like that. Okay, apps will make this one the oblique like um, medium or light oblique. And I'll make this one heavy oblique. That's good. That's fine. That sounds good. And making them like that before like that okay making it a little bit bigger so right press and create outline that's fine and now taking and background like this and picking the color from here and giving the color theme to more darker sending into the back layer okay this one making it white and making this one a little bit smaller those fine and making it into middle of the artboard so select this at first and like that just making this one into middle nice to see this type of uh, logo okay saving this out when we are making this one okay hit the okay button so this one is the logo and now if you want to make it mock-up you have to go to any kind of mock-up website and download them and you can do mock-up like that or you can just leave it like that or you can make more decoration ctrl c and ctrl f and actually we'll take this one and we'll make the smallest watermark possibly we can do so this one i'll make the lock options this one lock this up it will help us out to make this properly so this one and making them proper alignment press, press the shift and option button and now press ctrl command d d d and okay that's fine so select all the stubs making them a little bit smaller like this okay fine and now taking to middle of this okay if i make it group and if i check this out in the middle properly that's fine and making it middle properly yeah ctrl d and make them several copies select these two layers lines and making them yeah and making them like that that's fine now making them all in a group yeah that's fine and here the this layer i'll make it into upper side and select all the steps right press and clipping mask and now just place it into this and then we can make this one the opacity only 30 percent i think 10 or 5 percent is good 10 percent is good and making this one upper side of the layer yeah, that's fine we are getting a new vibes over there so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you have any kind of queries please do comment and don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon for the new notifications and all the stuffs and today 
I'm Yasemani signing out. Stay safe, stay at home. Keep me in your prayers. Bye-bye.